What happens now? That's the question residents of one Rogers County town and an Oklahoma man found himself asking us after he says he was left with no option to pay a ticket. News Channel 8's John Hayes spent the afternoon in foil, and John, it sounds like the ticket is just the tip of the iceberg. It sure does go much further than that ticket, Brenna. He says he learned he couldn't pay it because vital city buildings and positions are frankly in limbo. I got my ticket a couple months ago, um, and for some reason, the officer uh, assigned me a court date of last Monday. Robert Brooks says he got the ticket from a foil police officer. It's a Rogers County community. Brooks says he didn't want to have to come back to municipal court for, so he worked out another option with the town's court clerk. And I was going to pay her, like, I believe it was $40 over the phone. Uh, I was going to give her my credit card to dismiss the citation. When he tried to call Cindy McMahon back, he learned what we later found out on our Tuesday drive to town. The police department, which city leaders tell us opened just a few years ago without a vote of the people, is closed indefinitely, and McMahon's job is apparently up for grabs. Honestly, I don't think we really need a police department, but... That's not up to me, that's up to the people. Newly appointed Mayor William Sylvester says despite rumors he and other city board members made the call to shut the department down, that's not the case. They have to go through a cleat certification, I guess, and qualify to have that position. He's talking about two reserve officers under FOIL's former police chief, who also resigned. Both of them failed to qualify or the previous chief didn't do some paperwork. Leaving these police cars with no one to drive them. As for McMahon, can you talk me through that process? Why she was terminated? Why? How everything played out there? Mm. I'd rather not comment on that. McMahon did have plenty to say in her own defense, stating a decision on her employment was made at a May FOIL board meeting. When they made a motion to terminate me, the attorney advised them not to do this because it wasn't really legal right now until they figure out if I'm elected or, or appointed. And it's not, you don't have anyone to do her job. They chose to, to continue on, so... I laid my pen down and got up and walked off as soon as I did. She also had this to say about comments related to the police department's effectiveness. They didn't just do traffic. There were several break-ins, just stopping and talking and visiting and, you know, getting involved with the community. But back to Brooks' traffic ticket. We don't have a police department. We've already canceled one court, and I don't even know the process, honestly. So uh, at this time, since there's no court, me personally and the trustees that I know of, we're not going to be issuing any bench warrants or anything like that. You have to make decisions. You have to go in and dismiss all of those if you're not going to continue with court hearings. You can't just tell people, don't worry about it. You're not going to get in trouble for it. You're not going to have to pay it. Brenna, obviously so much more to unpack here and more than we'll have time to cover tonight, obviously. We plan on bringing you more reports as we comb through those interviews, conduct more of them, and work towards helping this community.